Okay, everybody, in this tutorial, we're going to look at some ways to keep yourself organized when you're doing an editing project. Uh, it's really important to stay organized outside of the editing application. So when you're just working on your computer through the operating system of your Mac or your PC and using your external hard drive, keeping all your files and folders organized there. And then when you go into Adobe Premiere Pro or if you use some other editing program, Avid, Final Cut Pro, Edius, that when you're inside that program, you also stay highly organized. So let's look at the external organization. Here's something you can do, and this is highly recommended to keep your files organized. So this is something I would do if I'm gonna use Adobe Premiere Pro to edit. I'm gonna organize all my files that come off my camera card, uh, any of my graphics, anything I need to bring into my Adobe project. I wanna get it organized first out here on my computer. So what I'm going to show you is this master folder system. And first I'm going to open up my drive, just one of my many servers and hard drives I have connected here. This one I use for this particular class. And inside here, you'll note that I have several folders for different kinds of projects. So if I'm using Adobe After Effects, I have a folder for those projects. If I'm using Avid, or if I'm using Final Cut, or if I'm using Premiere, I keep a sort of edit project folder system. Here's the one we're using for Premiere, and this is something that you can download. I have it prepared for you to put on your own hard drive. So let's open that Premiere Edit Projects up. That's the big master folder for all my Premiere work, and it's subdivided into years, 2012 through, well, next year, 2016. So we happen to be in 2015 right now, so let me just open up the year, and I'll show you what's inside. In each year, there's a folder for each month, so this is very much date organized. So during the month of January in 2015, all the project I work on in Premiere have their own sort of storage system. Everything's organized by project with the dates, the dates I start the project and the dates that I complete them. So I'll show you how to use this to import your camera footage. So let's just do that as an example. So we'll go down to, let's say the month of July, 2015. I'm gonna open up 07. In here, I already have two projects that I had started uh, this month. There's one on a, a guy doing a glass blowing demonstration. So notice when I open that up, again that's the master folder for that project. Open it up and inside that we have a folder for the project file. That's the Adobe Premiere file that you create when you start using Premiere. In the video imports, again think about this mimics the workflow when you're working on a news story. You have a project file in your editing system. You're gonna have video imports. You're gonna bring in stuff from your camera maybe something from the CNN news source feed or from some other source. It's some other feed that you were able to obtain or maybe the person you interviewed had an extra clip of their vacation or something fun that they did. You want to use part of it in the story. You could put that in the other sources. So let's look at camera files because that's what we want to use right now. Open that camera files up and in this particular project under original footage, this is all stuff I brought in right off the camera, hasn't been converted or transcoded, just as is right from the camera. Open that folder up and you see all these QuickTime movies. These came off of my DSLR camera back uh, about a month or so ago. So this is the July 4th stuff I shot over the summer. And they're all tucked away right there. The key though is putting all that raw footage in the proper place and then if I ever need to move this project somewhere else to another drive, share it with another student, this glass blowing, all I have to do is grab the big glass blowing master folder and all these other folders are nested within it. I copy that over to my friend, my classmate, move it to a server or a new drive. Bada bing, everything goes with it. The project file, all the video imports, that's our raw footage. Any graphic imports, like templates for lower thirds or full screen graphics, see they're all built in. So I keep all that stuff together, even audio, if I have a voiceover track for this story. Uh, and then when I get to the export stage, when I'm sending out videos, finished ones, to playback, I'd put those in the video exports, either for broadcast or the web. I could also export graphics, maybe a photo for the web or a featured image. I also have a documents folder for my script, any of my research notes, the story pitch that I write for the story if it's going to be a news package. Uh, let's start a new one because I've got some new footage on my camera card, this Shumway 001 that I'm going to import. So let's take the master sort of template folder. Now always, here's the rule, never overwrite or save over the template. The template always stays as is. So what do you do? You don't rename this one. You create a duplicate. So I'll just right click and say duplicate that. Makes a copy with all the other little nested folders inside, see? And then I rename the duplicate. So let's put a date on here. I'll just put today's date. 
2915. That's the day I happen to be working on this, and we'll call this. I think this is book signing. That's what the footage is that I'm actually going to copy. I like uppercase just so it's easy to see when I'm scanning my drives. And let's say that the due date is also today. All right. Good. So now I have a master folder set up for the book signing project. So let's open it up. And what am I going to put in here? My raw footage that's in imported video. I'm going to import this into the project. It's from my camera. Anything you shoot on your news camera or your own uh, personal, your smartphone camera. That's a camera file, right? Open it up. I'm going to bring in the original footage from the camera. So let's open up my camera card. And the stuff I'm looking for is for my JVC. I also shoot with a Canon, my personal camera. But here's a JVC, just like the, the Grady school camera. Open that up. See all my MP4s? Those are all my shots from this book signing. Now, what I need to do is just grab all of them and throw them into this folder on my hard drive, and it's all going to be set for my project. That's key, is get everything off your card, put it on your hard drive, so you've got it backed up. Then you can take the card out and go shoot some more, but always back up your card. So I'm going to use a shortcut here. I'm going to hit Command-A, and it's going to select all of these, and I'm just going to drag them over into this open folder on my hard drive. So now they're going from the camera card here, over to this Shumway 5560 drive. And that's just going to take about three minutes. So that's the key here, is organizing your material. I'll sort of back up as that continues to copy. There they are coming in. And if I've got everything organized, then I go to Premiere, create a new project file out of my Premiere software, and it's all going to link to these video imports. And that's what we'll cover in the next tutorial.